Guys, I have got a killer classic hard rock and heavy metal riff for you to learn today, and it's going to sound a little something like this. So the classic hard rock and heavy metal style of guitar playing, it sometimes seems like it's just a lost art. Like you don't hear a lot of newer bands playing it. And of course, that's because music does kind of evolve and people do different things, right? But, you know, I find that many of us, if you're like me, we still love to go back and listen to some of that classic hard rock and heavy metal. So I came up with this riff for you to learn. And I think this is going to be an extremely fun riff for you to play. And it's just one of those riffs where it's got that edge, but it also just makes you feel good when you're playing it. So I'm going to break this down into four different sections. There's four parts to this riff. We're going to break that down. We're going to go over each one and you're going to learn this killer hard rock and heavy metal riff. Now, be sure to hang around for the end of the video for a little tone talk. <laughs> So the first part, we're starting right out of the gate with that classic E power chord, or E minor to be technically correct, because that's the key that we're playing in here. But this is just like a super classic metal riff, or classic hard rock heavy metal riff here. We've got the E minor, then we've got that C and the D. Again, I mean, you can probably think of a lot of hard rock and heavy metal songs from back in the day that kind of have that same vibe, that feel, and that same progression there, or at least have that in the song somewhere. So I want to go over this with you because we're doing a little riff action on that E power chord, okay? We're not just playing a, a standard E power chord. That sounds cool, but no, we're doing something a little different. We're doing this. Okay, so that little part right there, and I'll play it again. I want you to remember that, because we're going to do that some more throughout this song. And this is, this is actually part of the song that we're coming right out of the gate with. It kind of sets the tone, no pun intended, but it kind of sets the tone and the feel for the song, because we've got that choppy little part there. We've got those classic palm mutes and just a little riff. So let me play that again, and I'll just kind of break down what we're doing. It's very, very simple, though. Of course, you'll have the tabs as well. What we're doing is we're going back and forth between that open E string as we're palm muting, right? And that next string, which we're fretting, the A string second fret. But then we're not just hanging on that second fret. Again, we're moving back and forth. So we're going from that second fret on the A string to an open A, okay? So look at this real, real closely. Okay, next we go into, I don't want to say this is typical, but it, you feel it coming. When you hear the song, it's almost like, okay, we're going to go to a C next. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, we're going to a D after that. And that's exactly what we do. So let me just run through that little piece real quick. <laughs> And I kind of hit that one, two, one, two, kind of hit that twice. And I like to call out these little bitty nuances because they're part of what makes the tune here, okay? I'm doing just a slight little, like a half palm mute in between the C and the D. It almost doesn't matter where you're at when you hit that palm mute. It's just kind of a natural dun, 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 dun. Okay, listen. So I'm kind of palm muting really quick after I play that C twice before going to that D. So again, that's one of those little nuances that I like to call out because it's those little things that you put into your rhythms that just bring the song to life. <laughs> All 
right, so we're following the exact same cadence that we did in the first part of the riff, but we're changing our chords up a little bit. So same thing, we've got that E minor with that really cool little classic hard rock heavy metal riff there. <laughs> Then we're going to go to a G power chord, and then we're going to do this really what is one of my favorite types of chords. I know there's a fancy name for it, and you guys can tell me what that is in the comments, but we're, we're essentially playing what would be a D, okay? But we're not playing a D. We're actually, we're actually starting with an F sharp, and then we're going to hit the D note after that, okay? So it's going to be the E string fret two or second fret rather than the A string fifth fret. All right. So we're going from the G three, five to this really cool little F sharp over D, which is two and five. So essentially you're keeping, and I, I use my pinky for that fifth fret A string. You're keeping that in the same position, right? You've got that G. All you're doing is moving that first finger up a fret to fret number two, okay? And you caught that little nuance again, that little bitty palm mute. You know, we play that twice, right? But that little bitty palm mute that kind of bridges the gap between those two power chords. So let me play that one more time. All right, so part three to this, we're not gonna spend hardly any time on because it is the same is part one but i just want to note something real quick this is one of those things uh when you listen to like the verse or chorus of the song you don't necessarily want every single part being the same so that's why we kind of switch it up for the second part and the fourth part which you'll learn next and that has a little bit more movement involved but then parts one and three are the same what this does i kind of want to explain the the writing style here what this does is it gives the listener some comfort with just being familiar with the riff, okay? So not all four pieces are different. You've got the same cadence throughout the riff, but then one and three are the same. So when they get to number three, this part here, they're like, okay, I remember that, but we're gonna throw them off a little bit when we go to number four, because where one and three are the same, two and four are not the same, and that's coming up next. <laughs> All right, so the fourth and final part of this little classic hard rock and heavy metal riff is completely different. And this is where we kind of set the listener up for something else to come after that, okay? It's, it's almost like saying, okay, this part of this riff, it's over now. Now, whether we repeat that pattern, so if you're like a verse or chorus or whatever, you might repeat it again, but they know that's the end of this little section of the song, and it kind of ends on a bang here. So what we're doing, we're going to a C chord, and we've got a choppy little riff that we're playing here, and this really gives it that edge of hard rock and heavy metal, that classic hard rock and heavy metal. Uh, this is kind of what brings that out here, this little riff. So we're on a C. I'm going to play this slow. Of course, you'll see the tabs up here, and I'll try to break this down for you. <laughs> I give that just a little vibrato there. I don't know if you can tell or not. Sometimes it kind of works really well. Sometimes it doesn't. In this case, uh, I like to try to give that. If you're not there, it's okay. Just play the normal C, okay? Just do this. As you get more comfortable, you can throw in that little vibrato there. Now, after that, this is an extremely classic move here for hard rock and heavy metal. We're playing this really just killer open D chord. So let me play that for you real quick just so you can kind of hear how it sounds together. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm, again, I'm just playing a regular open D. However, I'm not fretting that very last string, that E string. I'm actually leave, leaving that open. And you might notice I'm actually hitting that open A string as well. So that open A string, that's actually that fifth note of the D chord. It's just the fifth 
like lower octave if that makes sense okay so you can this is why that d sounds so cool in this style of music because you can hit that open a with the open d and finish out the chord and then leave that e open and you've just got this what's you know originally a major chord here which would be like a happy because this sounds happy okay but we're not playing a happy d we're playing we're playing this killer hard rock heavy metal D. What I'm doing after that is I'm just doing a little arpeggiation here. I'm not even sure if that's the word, but I'm, I'm arpeggiating a few notes down there. So I'm just going to play that. And you'll see the tabs as well. Let that ring out just a little bit and then we just go back to that E minor power chord. You can either end it there or you can go right back into the riff. So let's play the entire riff all the way through. I'll kind of play it at normal speed, which I really don't know what that is because I just wrote this by the way. <laughs> and then I'll play it a little bit slower just so we can kind of go through the whole thing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So there are two things I want you to list in the comments below. First of all, I want to know if this riff helped you. I want to know how you liked learning and playing this hard rock heavy metal riff. Secondly, I want you to name at least one song that this riff reminds you of. Because this kind of does take us back to like that late 70s all the way through the 80s, maybe some early 90s as well. Just that classic hard rock and heavy metal sound. So leave those in the comments. All right, let's gear up for some tone talk. But first, if you have not downloaded my free metal guitar practice guide, there's a link in the description of this video. Make sure you grab that. You'll also see that I have a brand new rhythm guitar course, metal rhythm guitar course out there called Metal Riff Master. So there's a link to that below in the description as well. All right, so right in line with the riff we just played, we've got to have a tone to match that. So I want to take you through the tone that I use. So we're looking at my EVH amp here, the 5153 EL34 tube, 50 watt head. You'll see where my bass, my mids, and my treble settings are here. The bass is kind of straight up down. I've got my mids cut a little bit. Sometimes I'll boost my mids though for this style of music. For whatever reason, I didn't, and I think I just forgot to do it. <laughs> anyway, the treble's boosted just a little bit, and I've actually got my presence for this amp cut down. Now my gain, I'm playing through a blue channel, the blue channel of the EVH, which that channel kind of mimics some of the classic hard rock and heavy metal amps, right? So the gain is actually all the way up on this. And I also have a little booster pedal. I've got a classic uh, MXR Classic Distortion pedal, but the distortion's all the way down. I'm kind of using this as like an OD pedal. And it doesn't really change much, but it just takes some of that boomy bottom end out of the amp. And with this specific channel, you get that. Because again, it's kind of mimicking some of those classic hard rock and heavy metal amps. Sort of like a Marshall JCM meets the PV5150. Something like that is what we're getting out of this channel here. Now, I know a lot of you are using plugins, so you could mimic this setting here in your plugins, whatever you're using. For example, if you've got like a JCM 800 simulator, amp sim, and whatever amp sim that you're using, if you've got something that mimics that JCM 800, that would be perfect for this classic hard rock heavy metal guitar tone, okay? And you could just mimic the same settings that I just gave you. Maybe I would say boost your mids a little bit because again, that kind of brings out this style of music a little bit more. You don't have to, just play around with that and see what sounds best. Now, real quick, I am gonna make a lead guitar version of this video here, classic hard rock heavy metal lead guitar. When that's available, I'll put it up here, okay? When that's here, you'll see the little link so you can go watch that next. All right, so guys, don't forget to leave the comments. I wanna know if this riff helped you, if you enjoyed learning it. Also, name a song, at least one song, that this riff reminded you of. 
man, this is bringing back so many memories of, again, that classic hard rock and heavy metal that we all love and still listen to. It's still alive and well. So yeah, leave those in the comments. Don't forget the links in the description. Remember, my free practice guide's in there. You must download that. And of course, the link to my new course, my metal rhythm guitar course called Metal Riff Master. There are other links in there as well where you can support my music and support me as a musician. And of course, I always appreciate that. Guys, please give this video a thumbs up. I will see you on the next video. Until then, as always, what do we do? We keep it metal.